how to fix ghost touch on an android phone hi everyone welcome back to our channel genie guide in today's video i will simply guide you on how you can fix ghost touch on an android phone so make sure to watch the video till the end in order to actually go ahead and then fix ghost touch on your android device now why is this happening in the first place now there are two most likely reasons for it and of course that it comes under hardware issues and software issues so if it's the hardware issue which means that your lcd screen is damaged or you just dropped somewhere else it could be the issue with your hardware right such as a display or touch screen and in that case i just recommend you to take it to a nearby local repair shop but if your problem is the latter one which means if it's a software issue it could be due to a couple of reasons now most of the budget smartphone these days if you just go ahead and then max out your brightness it is going to overheat right because whenever you max out your brightness it's going to use more resources from the screen and as a result it's going to ghost touch itself because of overheating i had this issue on my previous phone which is relatively cheap whenever i max out the brightness basically it would just start ghost touching itself it would just touch whatever else and whenever i just minimize the brightness it would suddenly stop the next thing you want to make sure is that you're not charging your battery because most of the phones also whenever you're charging and using you face the ghost touch issue that is because if you change the lcd display and sometimes you put a relatively cheap display on your phone after you've repaired it that's the problem when you can get it so just make sure that these are not the issues other than that what you want to do is go ahead and then simply open up your settings go to the about phone section and go to reset try to reset all settings and see if that solves your problem if that doesn't help then try to simply factory data erase it and once you factory data erase it you should be able to solve this problem so if it doesn't again i recommend it take you to a nearby repair shop because the problem with the hardware and i wouldn't really recommend you to opening it yourself hope this video answered your question if it did help answer your question then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have got any questions though feel free to leave them down thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.